So once again, I have my Gear VR, and now I have a DJI Phantom 3. So let's use the Gear VR to pilot the Phantom. Pretty cool, huh? So the first thing we need to do is open up an app called Drone VR. So I'm clicking that. That basically comes with five trial periods. If you like it, you buy it. If you don't, you don't. So I have three trials left. Each is five minutes. So let's start that. So we're gonna connect. It's ready to fly. So I see what the drone sees right now. Let's put that in there so we can get a bird's eye view. So let me get out of the way so the drone can fly. Got to start her up. There he is. So let's make it go up really high just so there's no danger or anything. And I'll step off to the side. So yeah, let's go up, you know, a good 200 feet or so. So there's no danger to hitting trees or anything like that. Okay, so now let's put it on. So now I see everything the drone sees first person. I can look down and the gimbal looks down. I can look up and look up. Pretty cool. And it says trial mode, 160 seconds remaining. We have 12 satellites, which is good. The phone has 19% battery. The drone is 96, the remote has 30. We have good connection. So you can control it. So let's go to that pond over there. You see that? This is honestly kind of freaking me out because this is the first time I've flown my drone like so far away. And I'm not looking at it. I think it hit the limit that I set on the app. But look at that. And I can look down. You can't look left and right, that's what this is for. But look, there is a shopping center. That's like a grocery store. There's a Walgreens. There's an uh, auto body place. There's a main road. Pretty cool. And there's my house right there actually. Somewhere out in the distance. So, we can actually fly back. It's pretty cool because we're getting like a bird's eye view. I can hear it now. I'm afraid of hitting trees, but I'm so high up. It says the trial ends in 31 seconds. I wonder what happens if it ends. I don't want to find out. You see me? I'm right down there. Look at the canal. It goes way over there. That's pretty crazy. So, where are we at? Oh my god, the drone is up so high. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You have to go in the drone, you have to go in your phone's memory and swipe away from the drone VR. And let's do return to home. Does it remember from the other app? I believe so, because it's coming. I want to get a thumbnail. Here, let's move it up a little bit. Okay, let's do this again. We're gonna focus on something close. So I wanna land the drone right here. That's probably pretty good, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd probably say we got a good thumbnail with that. So there we go guys, just a quick little flight with the DJI Phantom 3 standard. Keep in mind, who the hell was that? Keep in mind you can um, use any DJI Phantom 3, Professional, 4K, the 4 even. So that's really cool. The Gear VR works really great. Honestly, the video in the DJI Phantom with the Gear VR is a lot better than when I did the Parrot Bebop drone with it. Um, if you haven't seen that video with the Parrot drone, you know, I'll put a link up here and link to it everywhere, description, annotation, all that fun stuff. So check that out. Let me know what you think about this. Do you have a drone yourself? Do you want to buy a drone? Do you have a Gear VR? Now you have a good reason to get a drone. It's pretty cool. Um, I honestly just prefer line of sight. Um, the Gear VR is cool, but, you know, I can't see myself using it all the time. It's kind of cool to show people, but in my opinion... That's about it. So, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I make all kinds of tech-related videos. And I will see you guys later. Bye.